Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how to use tables using table view in JavaFX. And for this, we are going to use properties which we have learned in the previous videos to populate our table view. So if you uh, don't know how to use properties, just watch uh, that video first on properties and then watch this video. So let's get started. I have created a project called table view and in the application package I have this main.java class where I have added this code to uh, you know call our main.fxml file. I have this main.controller class which is blank right now and I have this main.fxml file which is also blank right now. Okay, so I think you know how to, uh, you know, create these files. Now next what I'm going to do is, first of all, for example, I want to create a table of student information. So student can have his ID, name, surname and age. And I want to populate uh, this data on a table view. So how do I do that? So first of all, for that, I'm going to create a new class which I will name it as student. Okay, so first uh, class name is student and click finish. And this will create the student class. And in here, first of all, I will create four variables. First will be private final integer. And this will be the ID of the student. Okay, in a same way, I will declare uh, three more variables for name, surname and age. Okay, so this will be string variable and this will be our name uh, variable. And then third variable will be the surname. And the fourth variable will be the age and the surname is uh, string here. Okay. So because we have declared them as a final, we need to initialize these variables. So let's right click on this class and then go to source. And then we are going to select this option, which says generate constructor using fields. Okay. So select this option, which says generate constructor using fields and select all the fields and then click OK and it's going to generate this kinds of constructor with uh, all the field names and it's setting all the values like this. Okay. Now next, what we are going to do is let's transfer this variable at the top. So all the variables are at the same place, right? Now, second thing, what we are going to do is we are going to declare the getters for uh, these variables, right? So right click once again on your class and then go to source once again and this time choose generate getters and setters. Okay. And then select all and then click OK. And it's going to generate only getters because we are already setting the values of these variables using the constructor, right? Now, after doing all this, we will change our variable data type to simple integer property and simple string property. I have used this integer and string earlier because I wanted to generate this getters and setters uh, for uh, this class. So uh, it's easier to, uh, you know, generate these getters and setters using these data types, right? After generating your uh, getters and setters, you can change this data type to simple integer property for ID and age and for the surname you can uh, use uh, simple string property okay so for surname and uh, name you will use uh, simple string property right so we have uh, done that now uh, you can see it's showing this error and this error says uh, change to the id uh, data type so we need to cast this id to uh, you know simple integer property so what we can do we can use new then simple integer property and in the brackets just enclose this id right same you can do for uh, the age so let's do for the age and 
we can uh, do the same for uh, these uh, names and surnames right so just enclose it like this and for the surname also enclose it like this and we forgot this new keyword here okay so like this now if you remember to access a simple integer property or simple uh, string property we need to have the method called get on the variable right so here it's showing uh, this error because we need to add this method called get on this id variable right so just write dot get okay so add after every uh, variable name dot get method and it's going to get you the value of uh, this property okay so this is our student class which we are going to use to populate our table view okay now once this is done we are going to go to our controller.java class which is main controller.java and first of all we will uh, implement here initializable and then uh, you just uh, add the unimplemented methods here which is initialize and now i'm going to declare first of all uh, at the rate fxml and then private table view so just call a table view variable from here and it takes uh, the template variable right so we want to uh, you know create a table of students right so just call the student class which we have created recently in these uh, angle brackets and then give the name to your table for example i give the id as a table itself okay now every uh, table has its column also so we, we are going to create uh, four columns in the table and instead of using table view we will use table column now okay so just use table column and paste it four times here and this takes uh, two uh, template argument one is the class name and second is the data type so the id data type was integer right so just write integer here and then give the name to your uh, table column variable which is id for the first column right same we will do for the age column so just name it as age and this will be the name column and second will be the surname column right and just add this string data type here and to the name also okay so we have declared one table view variable and four table column variables with the column names right now next what we are going to do is we are going to declare a observable list so declare a public observable list and name it as list so this is the list of students right so it will also take uh, this uh, template variable which is student in our case because we have uh, created the student class and name it as a list is equal to fx collection so just write fx collection dot then uh, call a method called observable array list here and then close it and inside this constructor brackets we will uh, you know add some uh, data to our list so because it's a observable list of student we can add uh, this uh, new student constructor here so just add new student and this constructor takes four variables if you remember right first is the id so give for example one second is the name so give any name for example some name and then third is the surname so give some surname and fourth is the age which can be something like this an integer right and then using comma separator you can add multiple instances of this constructor right so you can do something like this and then change the ids of all the student constructors
So I have generated uh, this kind of uh, data inside this uh, list here and make sure the last, uh, you know, data doesn't have this comma. Okay. So we have our observable list now, right? Now what we can do is we can take this uh, table variable and go inside our initialize method and call a method called set items on it. And then it, this takes the observable list. So just provide this list variable here. Okay. Now just above this uh, code, what we can do is we can just use our ID variable and then we can call a method called set cell value factory here. And then we can uh, just add a new property value factory. So just search for a property value factory and it takes uh, two uh, template argument as we have given in the table column, right? Student and integer for ID, right? And then in the constructor, it takes uh, this name of your column. Okay. So do the same for uh, the name, surname and age. So second is our name, third is uh, the surname and uh, fourth is the age and we have to pass this here also, surname here also and age here also and this name and uh, surname are a string, right? So just add string and string here. Okay, so now we are ready with our code. So we just need to edit our FXML file and add our table view inside this so that we can populate it. So just right click on your main.fxml file and open with scene builder here and just choose your anchor pane here and then change the layout property of it. So pref width is equal to, for example, this time 500 and the pref height is also I'm going to choose 500 okay and then go to here in the search option and search for table view okay and just drag and drop this table view inside this anchor pane and to make it stretch to the length and height of uh, this anchor pane you can just uh, select your table view go to modify and then click this option fit to parent and it's going to fit to parent and now right now you can see this table view has uh, two table columns c1 and c2 so we need to add two more tab table columns because we have four table columns right so just add one more table column here this will be the third table column and take one more table column from uh, your uh, controls and just drop it here okay so now you have four table columns now select your first uh, table column from here go to the property and change uh, the title of it or text of it for example first is the id second was uh, the name so just change the name of this also and then third was the surname so change the text of this also and the fourth was the age so just add age here okay now once you do this we need to uh, connect our controller to this fxml file so go to controller here and then choose your controller class application.controller okay now select uh, your column once again and then go to the code here and then choose the id of the code right so when you just drag here you can see we have declared the table column variables here id name surname and age right so select first column and give the first uh, you know table column variable here id select second column and then choose uh, the name third is the surname and fourth is the age right now uh, we also need to give the id to the table so go to the hierarchy here choose your uh, table here and then go to the code and then choose uh, this variable called table which we have declared here you can see here right and now you can just uh, save your code 
and uh, refresh your uh, project and now we are going to run it so just run your app and now you can see uh, we have successfully populated our table view with this data okay so this data is uh, same as this data in the observable list right you can match it from here right so in this way you can populate a table view in uh, javafx i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now